Welcome to another episode of Jeff Smith's Garage. Like this time I thought we'd talk about degree wheels, talk about some of the features and techniques on how to use them. Let's first talk about what is the degree wheel and why do you need it? So degree wheel, we're going to use it to put it on the snout of the crankshaft and determine by looking at these numbers relative to piston position where the camshaft opens and closes the intake valve, for example. That's where we're going to use the intake valve off of number one. So in this particular case with the summit wheel, it actually has two sets of numbers, which is kind of interesting. Most degree wheels don't have that. And the outboard numbers are actually used for determining intake centerline. And then the inboard numbers are used if you want to check opening and closing points, let's say, at 50 thousandths. Um, most degree wheels don't give you this feature, so it's kind of nice and it's very, very affordable. And um, the rest of the stuff really will kind of be self-explanatory as we go along. So before we get into the actual installation of the, of the degree wheel, there's some tools that you need to go along with. This. They send you a, um, a series of little uh, flanges here to hold it in place where you could just put the bolt on. The problem that I've found with that is that um, in order to, so you tighten the bolt up with, the, with, the, with it on the end of the crankshaft, in order to degree the cam, you have to turn the engine backwards at some point. When you do that, the bolt loosens up. <laughs> and then you just lost your position, so you have to start over. It's very frustrating. So what I've found, an inexpensive little tool is this crank nut. It slips over the end of the crankshaft and, uh, but then you've got to have a giant crescent wrench. Well, the problem with this is by the time you get done investing in a giant crescent wrench that you probably will only use for this, you could have the same amount of money invested in a crank socket, which is what's on the front of the engine right now. So uh, these are actually from Comp Cams. And this is a big block version. This is the small block version, and it's, and it's held in place with a little set screw right here. So all you really do is run this real nut off of here. Slide the degree wheel in place, run the knurled nut back on, and then, um, then you're going to position it. We'll show you how that, how, how that works. But essentially, what this does is it allows to hold it in place. Then you can use a ratchet to turn the engine in either direction without ever worrying about moving the degree wheel. So before you go ahead and degree a camshaft, you need to have a you have to have top dead center established properly. The reason that's important is because every other position that the, you're going to read off the camshaft is going to be set by top dead center. So if top dead center is not set accurately, all your other numbers are going to be off. So to begin with, what we're going to do is we brought this piston up to top dead center. This is number one, and we've positioned the degree wheel with our with our pointer at roughly TDC. Then we'll show you how to find out exactly where it's at. So one thing I forgot to mention is this indicator. You have to have some way of referencing the degree wheel. So we just used a piece of copper wire. I mean, a coat hanger wire works just fine, and a stud and three nuts and a couple of washers. I mean, there's probably stuff you can buy out there, but quite frankly, this is simple. And then if you ever want to make a minor adjustment rather than touch this wheel and possibly change some things, just bend the wire a half a degree or so. So there's a lot of different ways you can go. So in order to find top dead center, we have to use a piston stop. In this particular case, the heads are off. This is actually a homemade one that I made, but um, Summit makes a lot of different, off, offers a lot of different piston stops. You just need to just check it out online. So once we have the piston stop installed and we've roughly positioned our, our degree wheel, now what we're going to do is we're going to move the degree wheel and read what it says on either side of top dead center. So here's top dead center here, and we're at... Uh, Call that 48 degrees. And it stops at 46. So we're really only about two degrees off. We can just move this one degree because if we're two degrees off, we split the difference, then it should read 47 degrees in each location. So now what we've done is we've moved, we loosened this knurled wheel and move the wheel until we split the difference between the two readings and now what we're going to do is we're going to read this and see because the key is to double check your information don't just go by your math and think it's right so there's there's one position and that reads 47 
and then we're going to move it in this direction. As long as it reads the same, then we're dialed in. We're within, we're within probably half a degree of where we need to be. So we've run through the basic process on this degree wheel. This is an inexpensive part, and it really is something you everybody should have in their toolbox if you work on engines because it allows you to know exactly where a camshaft at, is at. So uh, if you like what we're doing here at Jeff Smith's Garage, ring the bell, subscribe, and we'll keep cranking these babies out for you.